Hello, and right now we'll be continuing to work on our website and adding a parallax or a fixed background effect. In the last video, we added a sidebar. So we can say npm run dev in our terminal to see what we currently have. So here we have a navbar and a toggleable sidebar. I have videos about each of these elements. So now we can go back here and add some new things. First of all, we'll add the background. For that, we'll create a div with three class names, bg-fixed, bg-cover, and bg-center. bg-fixed means that the background will stay in place. There are two types of class names here, bg-fixed and bg-scroll. BG-fixed means it will stay in the same place when the other elements move. BG-cover means it covers the entire screen and BG-center means it is centered. The other one of these elements is BG-scroll, which essentially makes the image act like a normal image. So it moves with the rest of the elements and it's there by default. Next, we can actually add the background. So we can say style, background image, colon, like this, URL, dollar sign, uh, and in here we can paste the image. I'll be using an image I downloaded into the assets folder. So we can say forest from dot slash assets slash forest dot jpg like this and put the name over here forest currently we won't have anything to actually do that we can say div class name h dash 600 pixels or whatever height you like this will be the height between these two gaps Currently, we can't exactly see the effect. We can only see the background. This is because we can't actually scroll. The web page is too small for that. So we can go to the welcome section. We can actually delete this counter as this was simply an explanation of how to use use state and not actually important for the website. And we can also delete the use state and say, h-500 pixels, bg-blue-500. Now, the effect is very much working, but there is a small issue, an issue that we also had in the website, where we create, in the video, where we create the full website with the parallax effect. It is this. We can actually scroll sideways. And the way to fix this issue is very simple. We simply go to app.jsx or whatever is your main component. Go to the wrapper div, say class name, overflow dash hidden. This will not permit any sideways scrolling. So now, as you can see, sideways scrolling is absolutely impossible. If we want to add something on top of the image, for example, some text, we can go into this specific div and do it. I'm going to say h1 class name text dash white text dash 75 pixels. Then we can say font dash bold margin bottom dash 20. In here, we can say items dash center. I actually have flex over here and justify dash end. I can say some text, for example, begin your adventure now, something like this. And as you can see, we have our text. We can move it slightly from the right, margin right dash 20, make the text semi bold instead of bold. Bold looks a little too much and move it more upwards. For example, 
200 pixels. And so yeah, now we have a website with a parallax effect and some text on top of it. This does not have to be text. This can be absolutely any element that you can style however you like. And it will behave exactly like the sections. Meaning, it's a one when you scroll, it will move with them and not with the image, which will stay in the same place. So yeah, we're finished with adding the parallax effect to our website. See you next one. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.